It's another step forward for the council's social housing, but today's demolition of an old apartment block in the CBD marks the next phase of the council's much-needed public housing stock. With its EQC claims settled, it's all systems go, as Jared McCulloch explains. It's all go here with the demolition of these council-owned flats in central Christchurch. This 26-unit block is located at Airedale Court on Salisbury Street, with the site being the largest social housing complex in the council's portfolio. There were 115 social housing units in total at this particular location, and the council's social housing manager says he's happy with the progress. For all of our portfolio at the time of 2,649 odd units, we've had to work through an insurance claim with EQC and then obviously our main insurer. So it's taken a huge amount of time to, to get through that process, quantify the damage and agree that with EQC. We finally got that uh, agreed with EQC la only last December. So we're outside of that process now. We've got the funds paid up and we're getting on and, and getting a lot of stuff done. This building suffered extensive damage in the earthquakes, meaning it had to come down, with residents being moved to other temporary housing around the city. And he says it's been a project in the waiting. The first problem, identifying the serious structural damage. This one here we actually identified um, was poorly designed in the 1960s. It had a brittle failure mechanism in fact, it, if we had another large big shake, it could come down suddenly without warning. And the housing rebuild manager says luck was on their side to get people into other accommodation fast. We were quite lucky when we realised we were going to have to move people out of here that some other people had relocated and so we were able to house all the tenants that got taken out of the 24 units behind us. Um, but we, we've got um, 300 people on the wait list that want to get into places and so the quicker that we can get people, places rebuilt and reopened, the better it is for those tenants. And Bailey says many of the apartments after the quakes need needed some immediate attention. This was an area that got a, quite a big shake and so there are a whole bunch of units that sort of didn't quite work straight after the earthquakes. There were broken pipes and broken sewers and, and so a whole bunch of people need, there needed to be some quick repair work and so about 20 units were reopened soon after the quake. And now we've got this, these, um, the lower level units have had some damage to their floors and so we've just got to figure out how best to replace those and make them habitable for people so we can get people back into houses. And he says their plans are truly underway. The next 15 months we want to make sure we get about 130, 40 units reopened and rebuilt for the tenants. Um, it's quite a big focus. Um, this is part of it. This is sort of clearing a site which will be a tranche of work that will happen after we've sort of rebuilt. In the rest of the Airedale complex we've got about 20 units that we're reopening at the moment. Two opened a couple of weeks ago and we're just sort of coming up with the plans about how we're going to reopen open the rest of them as well. He says it's more than just the demolition for him, instead his focus is on the move to repair other social housing blocks in the usually quiet community. So most of the people, more than 60% are over 60, so they're, they're elderly folk and so retire, most of them retire. And then we've got a range of people from young through to elderly that are um, generally in high needs and, and have sort of high social needs and so being close to bus routes and services and um, doctors and libraries is an important thing for them. This is just one of many sites where buildings are coming down, but that's just not the main focus here either. They're also rebuilding and repairing others around the city. It's not understood yet how much it will cost to complete the program, but it's definitely in the multi-millions. And Bennett says the people in the flats here have been positive with the work being done. We've had lots of briefing sessions with them from um, barbecues uh, to sort of run through what we're doing, the work. And look, I mean, they're really good. They understand that there's a bit of noise and a bit of um, discomfort, but they can see the, the bright side that they're getting their flats repaired and that they'll be uh, better off. There are many other social housing projects going on around the city, but soon this building will be down and the work to rebuild and repair continues. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.